Garden. June 14th. down this is the German status just getting set to bloom the columbines in full bloom I'm going to take a look up the daylilies and we got delphiniums blooming bed of melons and then trying that new IRT fabric that's supposed to suppress weed growth and heat the soil. Got them in kind of late. And then here I have cilantro. Just starting to germinate along with the weeds. It's a special strain from India. of red stalker corn followed by golden nugget squash pepper grass radishes several types of coriander everything's just starting and needs to be weeded down here is uh, hot peppers and eggplants also under the IRT fabric top side I got three habanero peppers row of beets and then uh, Armenian cucumbers on the curve and pickling cucumbers down the straightaway here. And I got some lettuce. It's just starting to germinate. Breast blooming. It was covered up by chervil that grew wild here. fabric covering. I got oriental vegetables, mustards and cabbages, and cauliflower on the end. And I've got two tree tomatoes. Some broad beans real close to the end and uh, these are climbing asparagus beans. There's my snap beans. Rabbits have been playing havoc on them. Notice the new growth. Or the rabbits have been eating them. Got uh, lots of weeds, onions, leeks tomatoes. I'll try to get in and do some weeding after work tomorrow. Some cutting celery. Down on the end three cabbages. Followed by some more tomato cages and some giant kohlrabi. Over there I've got uh, some surplus irises and uh, elephant garlic. And we start the main tomato roll. Wing irises. Another rebloomer. Along the uh, 
tomato roll. And way on the end I've got some amaranth. Pepper roll under the IRT fabric. Planted over a hundred plants of hot peppers this year. Under spun bound fabric. A row of sweet peppers. Three beds. And then uh, sugar snap and snappy peas lined with both sides with shallots. After being initially eaten off, we protected them with chicken wire and they came back nicely. This group wild from seed blooming next to a darker blue. Blue iris. You can see the size of the arborvita. It's over six feet now, followed by the Canadian tree lilac. It's 19 different varieties, and they've been hilled twice. Here's the first row, wide bed planting, and there's the second row, all different varieties. Some are quite aggressive. Notice the flowers already. Potatoes. Short roll with some special smooth artichokes or sunchokes new variety and three rows of corn or carrots. Corn is up on the last set of beds. Followed by some potatoes and more sunchokes. Canadian tree lilacs and the McFarland pink in the middle there. It's nice now that we've got the bed all weeded and plastic down. Canadian tree lilac. The other lilacs are all finished. And we got one daylily blooming. carrots and I'm using the old compost for melons. I had six new wall of waters, three of them have already collapsed. Some on top. that I finished off when I did the compost. And this year I'm going to grow pumpkins on here before I make a permanent bed out of it. Got three of them on the end. Gourds on this side. Just 
just a shot of the uh, lettuce and endive that I planted early along with some onions. Lettuce looks very good. It's ready to cut along with some tomatoes. Piled some iris. Needed to move when we weeded the, uh, or I redid the garden. And I've got some shallots from Idaho. And that's some of the lilies that came late. And then some garlic. Daffodil, an oriental lily bed. And I finished it off now that I've got a chainsaw with a little turn on the end. The boat gone. And the wall held up very well. And we got herbs. Cutting celery, thyme, lavender leaf of fennel, garlic, hearty sweet marjoram, pennyroyal, and several different kinds of fennels on the back and petunias on the front. With some uh, lavender from last year. And some petunias and mostly dahlias and the red peony some more herbs mostly basils a couple of rose plants and then there's the arborvita from Portland it's got lots of new growth on it, it's looking good they stuck in there rotted thought we put some status, German status from last year and some annual st status started to get some of the landscaping done little oriental touch just a shot of the uh, arborvita I'm going to take the whole herb bed out this fall after we harvest the raspberries they're going as well See how high those arborvitae are getting. Some of them hit nine feet. And the herb bed for the uh, apple and fruit orchard we started to take out and clean it up in there. We're going to take all the sedums out. See the weeds coming back. And there are the uh, oriental and asiatic lilies. Up in the corner, I have 36 of those yellow lilies. Down here, see how nice some of the orientals can. Huge clumps. They're stuck in assorted flowers, herbs. Lilies from seed. We're in a lantern with the staghorn sumac behind it. And here we have a little bit of landscaping to do along the north wall, and I did start to get some done around the corner. Some of the uh, tiger lilies quite open yet. They're loaded with fruit this year. And the grapes. All of the grapes have fruit on except for the one I just put in. The uh, two apricots. They were shading the kiwis. So we've got the plum 
and the creeping phlox look gorgeous this spring. There's a shot of the fence line. And there's our new one. Tanning wall for the upper bed. And I completed the rock wall on the corner. And also the kiwis. There's the started work on the weeding. Got a fair amount done. Took out most of this. It's a lot cleaner. landscaping by the house. They're almost done. And the still bees are just getting ready to start. Hostas are huge, as are the peonies. Looks a lot cleaner weeded. And your oriental lilies and hostas. I should have a lot of flowers on them this year. Flowers are brought in.